coming together is a beginning keeping together is progress working together is success coming keeping and working these three words resonate with the word synodality synodality means journeying together and as we journey together we accomplish what is there in our minds and our hearts we become co-workers in the kingdom of god journeying helps us to reach out to others in love and service when we think about synodality at a deeper level it invites us to act on the situation to become proactive and synodality fosters decision making invites people of good will to bring out the best that is within themselves and thereby become a source of strength to one another synodality in action basically is a way by which we become persons of the heart and mind of christ and thereby make christ and his message known to others i would like to reflect on five points on synodality in action the first synodality invites us listening and discernment as we make our own christian journey we come across people of different faiths cultures creed and various perspectives of religions listening to the other is of paramount importance discerning especially in terms of making decisions and choices in life is also of great importance what better example can we have than jesus himself who listened to the people in his ministry of healing preaching and proclamation of the kingdom of god he made time to be with others the gospel of john chapter 4 brings to our mind how jesus listened to the samaritan woman jesus listened to nicodemus who came in the night jesus listened to his own apostles and thereby helped them to discern their actions and their plans second synodality fosters willingness to embrace uncertainties and ambiguities as we journey in our christian life challenges trials and tribulations come on our way these challenges sometimes take a toll on our life and make us vulnerable in many ways but when we root ourselves on journeying together inviting the other as part and parcel of our own journey we will be able to face willingly our own uncertainties and ambiguities of life in our own conversation at times we say no man can live as an island all of us need friends relations people of good will to be part and parcel of our lives synodality meaning journeying with one another helps us to embrace our uncertainties in a manner that jesus did in his lifetime father take this cup of suffering away from me not my will but your will be done we have the example of francis xavier who also faced willingly his own uncertainties and ambiguities of life especially in the context of making the name of jesus known to others thirdly synodality offers a vision of the church as a pilgrim church each of us as we make our own journey we are pilgrims here on earth we are not assured of our age or years to be here it is a grace of god that is given to us and when we consider ourselves as pilgrims here on earth we will make our own pilgrimage as a worthy pilgrimage wherein we journey with one another helping 
reaching out to others in service and compassion our journey as pilgrims will become more and more beneficial when we try to collaborate with one another when we try to take the advice of one another synodality meaning journeying with one another will make us persons of the heart and mind of jesus who in a way embraced his own uncertainties with a vision to make the will of god a reality and lastly synodality in action challenges us to confront the structures of power and privilege in our own context we see many a times power and other structures take a toll on our life make our life at times difficult but when we journey together when we receive help and assistance from the other persons our journeys will become meaningful we will be able to confront and thereby make our life meaningful through our own confrontation as we take part in the christ celebration we ask for the graces and blessing that we need that just as jesus journeyed together with his own apostles and people of all good will that just as saint francis xavier in his own lifetime made his journey as a pilgrimage of faith hope and charity may we also become like jesus and like francis xavier today's gospel passage invites us to reflect on the same message wherein jesus came here on earth not to abolish the law and the prophets but to fulfill it this scripture text can be understood in the light of the transfiguration event whereby jesus was with his apostles peter james and john in his transfigured body jesus was among moses and elijah moses representing the law and elijah representing the prophets perhaps in their conversation they must have spoken about what entails in the ministry of jesus how he will give glory to god by his passion death and resurrection jesus made the law and the prophet as a pathway to give glory to god may we like jesus and that of francis xavier become persons of the heart and mind of god persons who journey together and persons who are willing to collaborate and to seek assistance from one another